Spotify is helping artists cross borders without the intent of the standard music industry model. When people are using Spotify, they're going straight to Spotify playlists. They're giving me a top list. And that's an interesting thing. It's not a rank of the top songs, it's just a group of those top songs. They're not ranked in an order like a conventional chart from the old industry model. It's just give me UK top lists or top dance music lists. And they're going into that and exploring. And once they've explored, they themselves will add that to their own playlists and maybe share that with their other friends as well. So in many ways, we're taking the user of Spotify and making them broadcasters too. So with Mr. Probs, what we learned there was our, you know, the user was leaning forward and saying, I heard this song in a nightclub, I Shazam tagged it, I'm going to explore Mr. Probs here in Europe. But in America, it was lean back. So when looking at the first streams, we saw that in America, there was no lean forward mechanisms. There was no radio play. There's no Shazam tags. Interestingly, the origins of that case study began when the head of Shazam called me up to say, what is this song doing in the American Top 40? And I have no single Shazam tag to justify its presence. And I'm thinking, there's something going on here which we've never explored before. So in America, those discoveries were leaned back. They were pretty much all Spotify curated playlists which took them there. And once discovered on our playlist, then added to people's own playlists and shared amongst their colleagues, etc. The viral loop kicks in, but the curated playlists made that transatlantic journey possible. You have a classic order of events of radio first, discovery perhaps through Shazam second, then Spotify and iTunes third. But you can see with our case study that Spotify led, Shazam followed, and radio came very far behind that as well. So when you think about the order of events that we've been used to for the past 30, 40 years, I think that's changing rapidly now, where you know, radio needs to follow Spotify as opposed to Spotify following radio.